guys. Uh, another edition of your Cafe Baller um, providing the predictions with the uh, second game day. Um, one of the games would be Milwaukee Bucks going up against Boston Celtics. So this is uh, this should be um, this should be big, de ba? The two uh, super teams from the East going up against one another. Um, let's start with Milwaukee Bucks. Um, we all know that they have new pieces. Um, yung dalawang pinaka bagyo sa kanila na pinaka ko, uh, valuable uh, would be number one uh, si Drew Holiday and number two si DJ Augustine so okay yung magiging um, okay yung magiging backcourt nila uh, both players uh, can really orchestrate and both players can provide um, what you call this leadership and shooting Um, and yung pare naman si Chris Middleton so kung kailangan talaga ng three point shooting and what they have acquired other players uh, in Tor in Tori Craig and uh, Bobby Portis so um, medyo hindi lang naman dun sila sa backcourt and back that and of course ang pinaka malaking uh, balita dun sa Milwaukee uh, was when uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo signed that huge contract and he has decided to stay Um, in Milwaukee for a long term. So, yun yun. Um, uh, he should be extra motivated with that contract. I'm sure aside from that, he is also motivated to makabawi with what happened uh, last uh, last season. Um, some some people or most people consider them as a as a choke. Uh, nung natalo sila sa, sa Miami Heat. So, um, I'm sure Uh, narinig na ni Yanis sa mga sa social media and all that and I'm sure Yanis had to kung nung po gustong bumawi yan ngayon lalo na okay naman na yung fan niya okay so ang kalaban nila again is Boston Celtics Boston Celtics wala masyadong pagbabago dito sa team na to um, ang, ang malaking balita din dito is yung sinainan ni uh, Jason Tatum na contract diba? sana maambutan na, maambutan tayo ng mga ganyan para magmandalala yung camera natin yung bahay natin diba? kaso wala eh di, di tayo, ni, hindi tayo kilala ng mga players na to <laughs> um, si Jason Tatum so andun din yung mga yung, and then, uh, andun yung usuals niya yung powerhouse uh, scoring nila with Jalen Brown Kemba Walker and then si Marcus Smart um, what they did was uh they um they made their uh, front court or yung bigs strong kasi yun dun sila medyo na hirapan uh, last season ang nag uh, sa sentro sa kanila kung natatandaan niyo si Daniel Tice and then yung nag uh, so, um sumusuporta na kay Tice or nag uh, mapalit was uh, Robert Williams um who was playing really well uh, as a as a backup center but um again hindi pwedeng sila lang. So, what they did was um, they got Tristan Thompson. So, as they yun, di ba? They have Tristan Thompson, they have ties, both players almost play the same way. Hustle, 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 rebound, 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 depensa. And of course, Taco Fall, uh, they kept Taco Fall. Uh, who, who, who would release Taco Fall naman, di ba? He is a good project, narunong naman, malaki, and um, matututo din tong battle. Um, aside from that, I forgot to mention they also acquired uh, Jeff T. So, alam ko may Kemba Walker naman na, but uh, but Kemba Walker has the tendency sometimes to either um, be in foul trouble or sometimes talagang mag magpumalat yung shooting sa labas. And when that happens, means that nagkakasunod sunod yung pangit na shooting ni Kemba Walker. So at least they have Jeff T na medyo pamalit uh, kung kailangan mo ng ilupo ni Kemba Walker and Jeff Lee can of course provide offense provide leadership he is a veteran he has been around in the NBA for quite some time so uh, uh, he'd, he'd be able to provide some uh, scoring as well um, so napaganda ng laban Milwaukee Bucks versus Boston Celtics this one should be great one of the biggest uh, games dito sa game date na to noong December 24 Manila bukas Um, hmm. I checked on the spread kanina. If I remember it right, nasa 3.5. Uh, check ko lang ulit. Yeah, it is minus uh, 3.5. So let me just 
Ulitin ko lang, baka nagbago. Pero yun kita ko kanina, uh, naka minus 3.5 si Milwaukee Bucks. So, review lang natin, baka merong konting changes. So, yun. Minus 3.5 si Milwaukee. Wala namang changes doon. Minus 3.5 si Milwaukee. And of course, plus 3.5 naman si Boston. So, um, ang hirap na ito. Kasi magandang laban to Boston Celtics is such a strong team. Um, but my pick on this one, um, I'm gonna go with Milwaukee Bucks. I'm gonna go with Milwaukee Bucks. And the reason as to why I'm doing that is, again, Um, Giannis Antetokounmpo is extra motivated on this Gusto niyang bumawi Gusto rin niyang patunayan na yung kontrata Na nahawak niya Eh, sulit yung binigay At ka-sacrifice ng, ano, ng Milwaukee dito I know, for some of you may say But si Jason Tatum, ganun din naman Of course, Jason Tatum would also want to prove himself But uh, yung MVP ka Tapos hindi mo nadala yung team mo Papuntang finals When everyone expected you to be in the finals That's something else. Versus yung si Tatum na talagang natali lang sa playoffs, they got eliminated. Iba-iba yung naranasan ni ni ni, ni Yanis at ito po doon po last season. Uh, tapos, you know, you, you got injured sa so sobrang dami mong what if noon. Paano kung hindi ako injured siguro pasok kami. Um, si Jason Tatum, he was there. Talagang hindi lang nila kinaya yung kalaban. Who was Miami Heat at that point. So, again, yung, in terms of motivation, I think Uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo uh, should have that and I'm looking at Boston Celtics I'm looking at the lineup uh, si Marcus Smart lang naman talaga yung medyo may lakas ng katawan para na medyo pumigil kay Antetokounmpo actually hindi naman literally pumigil but uh, he's the most fit uh, to guard Antetokounmpo but height wise uh, Yanis is still uh, taller and Yanis is still longer uh, kay Marcus Smart so um, we'll see Uh, how that would happen but I really think that uh, Milwaukee Bucks would have this again hear me out it's Milwaukee Bucks kung gusto nyo lang mag money line go right ahead if you guys would want to play safe um, if you would want to take the minus I'm picking minus 3.5 and again that is Milwaukee Bucks so again uh, konting uh, konting um, discipline tayo sa pag uh, sa pagtaya responsible gaming lang po tayo let us enjoy the season, both Christmas season and NBA season. So, maraming pong salamat. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do. And then, uh, please share this with others. Uh, feel free to leave your comments as well. If you haven't liked our Facebook page, ganun din, Pasay Baller, pakilike. Um, kung meron kayong questions, iba yung plus, iba yung minus, nagbago, uh, you can uh, reach out to me via messenger. And mag-reply po tayo dyan, basta available at kising pa. Ayat kong salamat. Tayo palagi.